In this video, we're going to be talking about repeat traffic in the step of um, the journey that I've been explaining. So in this series, I've been explaining a case study of a business that I started out of frustration. And if you missed some of my videos that I've done in the past, go ahead and watch the video that I've done about this series so that you can understand exactly from step number one. Again, if you have not downloaded the ebook of the nine guiding principles, you're going to understand, you're going to miss out a lot. Go ahead and download the video, the ebook, I mean, in the description. So this step, before I go any further, remember, I want you to make sure that you remember all the nine guiding steps by heart. I'm always going to repeat this. When, pre when an opportunity meets preparedness, it results to success. Okay, when an opportunity meets preparedness, it results to success. It results to making money. So the point when I was really frustrated, I was prepared. I knew these nine guiding principles by heart and by head. When I saw an opportunity, I was able to interpret all the nine guiding principles over a night. I just had to sit down, take my pen and paper, write down exactly the blueprint that I needed, how to execute this. And because I followed that blueprint that I had actually written down, it's exactly what I'm actually sharing with you. So let us repeat those nine guiding principles and you should be able to shout them out with me. Step number one, we are looking at learn it all. This is whereby I spoke about the idea of reading books. Look at my, these are some of the books that I've actually read, just some of them. Um, on the topics that you really want to understand, you don't have to really read about digital marketing, but if you want to be a lawyer, read about law, law and things like that. So the second step to that is market research. Keep finding out what people need. Again, you need to look at some of the daily experiences that you're experiencing, the frustration, the problems that you're facing and how you can actually solve them. The third part is to build a product, create a product or find someone whom you can partner with or a service or product that you can market and get a commission. It could be 50, 50 or 70, 80, 70, 30 or whatever agreed amount that you can actually do. And then when you create the product, you need now to create the buying environment. Now the buying environment, we're saying that think about this when you're actually opening up a shop and when you're opening up a shop, you need to find customers and when you find customers, they need to buy from you in a very clean, nice environment. Take that concept and put it online. You need to create a very nice website, a community. It could be on any of these social media platforms and make sure that community is clean and it updates information that is able to help people. The, uh, after creating the buying environment, you create, you, you create the traffic framework, which is, our, which is what I've explained in the previous video. In this video, now we need to explain and talk about the repetition of traffic. One thing that you need to understand when it comes to an online business, a lot of these gurus, they speak about making money while it's your sleep. But guess what? Look at their social media presence. If really they're making money while it's their sleep, why do they continue to market and talk about their business? The simple answer to that, as a beginner in digital marketing, you need to understand that traffic is the lifeblood of an online business. The day that you stop marketing and sharing about your brand out there is the day that you're going to drastically suffer and not make some money. So you need to continuously, continuously and continuously non-stop market your business. Look at all the owned digital marketers in the first world countries. Look at what they do. They continuously speak about their business. They continuously speak about their business. And at the same time, they share the money. When you look at the money that they've made, you will like, wow, that's a lifetime income. But why is it they continue to market their business and why not you? Now, let us look at the strategies exactly that, have, that we have deployed in terms of, um, in terms of the, uh, uh, um, this business that we are talking about as a case study. So I have my computer here and I'm just going to read out some of the things that I've actually, um, uh, the notes that I've actually done. So the first thing that you want to make sure you do is that overall, you need to make sure that you leverage word of mouth. Word of mouth in terms of marketing is the most powerful marketing tool that you can use. And how do you leverage word of mouth? You just leverage word of mouth by offering a very good service that people are going to be sharing with their family and friends. 
just like how you go out and go to a nice movie and you want to you can't wait to share that on facebook people naturally do that when they go to a class and they're happy with the service that you're offering they tell their relatives and friends that the class was really amazing and when that happens when your word of mouth grows then you are in business so in order to do that these are different methods remember i said the framework in the previous video can be the same but there are different techniques in which you can drive traffic so let us repeat the framework that i've actually explained in the previous video because i know that by head as well you need to know that by head now let us go ahead and explain what i've actually spoken about i've spoken about learning the concept of a sales funnel and then looking at your market and creating that similar sales funnel in uh in 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 a way that fits your market okay so in this case we have traffic source that's point number one and then point number two we have initial conversation where you speak to the client for the first time and then number three you have the uh the slaughter room in our case which is the facebook group and the whatsapp group okay this is what we had and then the other the other step to that step number four is the paid members group only if someone pays our service then you add them to the members paid members only group and then the last part we have upsells offer them different products and services and things like that that's exactly how we have actually um, done our 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 structure of, of of the framework that is the first step that you need to do on the traffic and then now you need to work on number one making sure that you keep on feeding number one as much as possible as you keep on feeding number one as much as possible all these other parts are going to be filled out okay so the concept of a funnel is that if you invite a thousand people here, you're going to make maybe uh, 10 sales, maybe 100 people are going to buy from you. So right now our Facebook group is over 20, is over 20,000 people and um, our WhatsApp groups have more than uh, 15,000 people. So collectively, maybe you're looking at about 40,000 followers or maybe let us just put on average and then we just say 25,000 followers. And did we teach more than 2,500 2, people IELTS in Zimbabwe? Yes, we have actually gone past that mark. Now, what I want to explain is that the different strategies that we use and a lot of you, if you're watching this video, if you've learned from us the IELTS lessons, you can actually concur with this. You need to make sure you do a research on this and prove me wrong. Number one, let's go about it. It's SEO. Remember, I said learn it all in the very big, big beginning, okay? These books that I have here, they talk a lot about SEO, okay? And um, yeah, I cannot go on without mentioning about um, this book, which is called The Laptop Millionaire. This is one of the very first books that I've actually read when I was actually starting off my digital marketing entrepreneurship. It was written by Mark Anastasi. It's a very very good book okay and i still have it to this day i read this book a couple of times i bought this in 2014 i think i still have it this is 2023 it's one of the very good book i recommend you get it now let us look at seo right now if you go on facebook i want you to type ielts lessons in zimbabwe you're going to realize that our group is going to be the first one that shows up that's seo i'm not going to explain much about it and then go on uh um go on youtube go on youtube right now and type in ielts lessons in zimbabwe basically you're gonna find a lot of my videos or go on google right now and find ielts lessons in zimbabwe again taking you out of this case study that i'm gonna be talking about go on youtube right now and type in how much are tomb stones in zimbabwe okay go ahead and search for this word on youtube again and I mean on YouTube, not on Facebook, not on Google, and find out how much are bricks in Zimbabwe. Again, go and say this term and find out how much is bore drilling in Zimbabwe. Guess what? When you get on YouTube, you're gonna realize that a lot of the of the video that you're gonna see are my videos. Okay, so the strategy there is called SEO. So when you're talking of SEO, on the framework of traffic that we have, we are feeding this first part, which is the traffic source and then we are looking at events the other part that i've done is events when i went to zimbabwe i managed to do an event where i was actually talking to people in front of people explaining to them my journey to go to the united kingdom i had to see people in person so the event alone 
is a traffic source because at the end of the day the people that came to the event we added them we had the initial conversation we added them to the facebook group and then they became our customers and then we kept on upselling to them okay another two that i can actually talk about is uh promotions holiday promotions if you've actually noticed um there was uh, all the promotions and promotions that happens throughout the year there was world cup uh, soccer that was being done and then in our facebook group i just said you know whatsapp groups and facebook groups just said, guys we're gonna give you free tickets to learn uh ielts from us and go ahead and predict the score when you do that we are going to uh give you free access to come and learn a lot of people went for that a lot of people went for that and then those people that want their 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 um, uh, tickets to come and learn for free they came and they passed their ielts and when they did pass their ielts they started spreading the word for us and then that's leveraging the word of mouth again rewards is is is, is, is again another two that we actually use uh, in terms of the traffic remember we're talking about the traffic remember it's the traffic source any different traffic sources there are different traffic tactics okay uh, that you can do rewards is built by we actually uh, have a system go ahead and search for this system that is called viral loops now viral loops is um, is a software what it does is it's, it's like it, it calculates some rewards have you ever seen some marketing uh, uh, methods whereby they go like refer a friend and then you're gonna pay you ten dollars and then your friend is gonna also get ten dollars it's kind of that reward system that it does it's called viral loops and then we also had to do flyers in Zimbabwe that we had to print out and distribute we also had to work on uh, your online branding whereby we are giving uh, branded exercise books branded exercise book to each and every student that comes into our class because when they are writing notes uh, they'll be writing notes with our advert at the at the front of the exercise book we actually had to print them in Zimbabwe and we actually giving out to people and again this is what our competition is not doing uh, that's what I actually picked up and then we uh, uh, negotiated with the team to say can we not do this we give out some exercise books and then we just being different and uh, some of the branded things that we are doing is like t-shirts uh, caps notepads uh, and um, quite a number of uh, quite a number of things and then we also looked at um, paid advertising and then I'm gonna cover paid advertising when it comes to uh, when it comes to um, automations semi automations is something that I'm gonna cover uh, in, in brief but also at this point we started working out on um on paid on paid advertising and then what else did i leave okay there isn't much that i've actually left and then i'm going to talk about this very video that i'm actually looking at which is called uh, uh youtube okay uh, you're watching this video from youtube or it can be anything from in between so as we created the um the the facebook groups we realized that we wanted to create engagement we wanted to create engagement to have people talk so one thing that you need to understand is that when it comes to social media people go crazy about social media people spend a lot of time on social media and guess what the tricky part about social media especially facebook let me explain the way facebook works is that when someone joins your facebook group and then you post something and then they like that post uh, the next time that you post they're gonna get a notification that kuda online is posted and again the next time that you post they're gonna get an email that says kuda online is posted so if you look at our facebook group it has got over uh, twenty thousand people right now and if you look at that i'm the one who is talking a lot i'm the one who is posting a lot okay and when i post like that when people like comment they're creating a social relationship with me the next time that i post they're gonna get notified so we are having uh uh uh, uh, uh engagement stereos especially again on our whatsapp groups so however what i do we listen i listen in fact to people's questions even if they are stupid I do listen to them someone can come into our Facebook group or whatsapp group and ask how much is it to get a passport and then I know that okay if this person is asking this question a lot more people are asking then what I had to do was to sit down and started creating videos based on what they are asking and then I started sharing that information so instead of answering that person to say 
passport is 120 to get in Zimbabwe or passport is 220 if you want the emergence one that comes out of three days I don't reply a message I go ahead and write an article I go ahead and create a video and then send out to people so the reason why I create a video is there's a concept that is called one to many okay when you create a video I've created the video once and then I've educated a lot of people so one of the videos that I've actually done in less than a month he had 40,000 views okay I was like wow and the video is like 11 important things that you need to do before you leave Africa as a nurse aide so the videos are topics the topics from the uh, for the video that we create about nurse aides are the topics that people are asking questions okay another tricky thing that we have actually done is that if someone asks a question in one whatsapp group we then share that question in different whatsapp groups okay and then we come again and post that question on facebook and a lot of people will share their ideas their opinions and when we do that we are creating engagement and another thing that we do is that if someone asks on um the questions all the the crazy and the imaginations that people post on our whatsapp group we then go on facebook and post about it and then when we do that a lot of people are engaged and again we are drawing them to know about our service and in between we are telling people that we are teaching arts in Zimbabwe we are teaching arts in Zimbabwe we are teaching arts in Zimbabwe at the back of their mind they are also learning that we do teach arts and at the end of the day they trust us they like us they know us and then they end up giving us some money so the traffic really is something that has to be really 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 continuous uh, uh, I should say it has to be really 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 continuous so in total I didn't do a lot of videos but I just did about just 40 videos that are really really informative and again a tip on that if you really need to make it in this industry you need to go uh, niche and then you know go go deeper with that niche so if you realize that the video that I've created it the, the title of healthcare assistant to the UK uh, nurse aid um, care worker how does a care worker plan to go to UK how much is needed um, because I've actually gone through that path that path and I'm just sharing my knowledge and again as I do that there are different avenues of making money out of that again YouTube has been paying me uh, for creating those video because my video most of my videos are monetized you can learn about that that's another revenue that has been created out of that and uh, my videos are unique when I'm talking about uniqueness of my videos I had this problem when I actually got started was to create general information that was being created by any other person so a very good example is um, you can go online and find um, how what are the interview questions that people ask you can find that you can find 10 videos with the same information but when you go to my videos these are kind of videos or kind of articles whereby if someone goes through them they'll be like wow this was really informative I cannot find this anywhere else I'm gonna get in touch with this guy and make sure that what is he all about and I'm drawing people to actually come and pay for our services so just take time go through the videos you understand exactly what I'm talking about so that said I wish I could go on and on but let's actually wrap up things if you've not subscribed to my channel make sure that you do so and I do teach these things in depth since 2014 is a concept that I've used and it has worked like magic it has worked like me in all the business enterprises that I do these are the frameworks that I'll be going through make sure you download the ebook and I can't wait to see you on the next video where we are talking where we're gonna be talking about semi-automation semi-automation it's gonna be an exciting topic thank you so much if you have any questions for me make sure that you leave a comment below this video and bye for now